My people wonder shall never end, you know. I wonder why this Oloris will not accept defeat. Because whether they like it or not, they have been defeated in this battle. Because they are the ones that see it as a battle. Because ever since they st uh, stepped foot into that palace as wives to Kabiesi, they have been battling with Queen Naomi's return. And that is why it took long for Queen Naomi to return back to her palace. But right now, she has returned. Is it not obvious to them that with everything they have done, Queen Naomi still returned? Why is it that they are not going to rest and enjoy this marriage at least a little bit? Hmm? But one thing I do know is that they are very much sure that they are never going to enjoy this marriage. But because they have a wicked heart, they don't want Queen Naomi, who is the original owner of the marriage, to enjoy it too. But one thing that gives me happiness is that they are not God. It is only the will of God that will be done. And right now, I believe that the will of God is happening. And no matter where they go, no matter what they try to do, they are going to fail as usual. <laughs> My people wonder shall never end. Right now, you know that Ilefe people, they are doing their... They are celebrating their New Year festival. It has been going on. The people were jubilating, celebrating. A lot of people have visited from different areas, from different places. You know, uh, they said there is this particular priestess that came from, uh, is it uh, Obom, Obom As in they said, the lady is working with uh, this uh, laughing of Oyo the oldest king, from what we heard, that that priestess visited Ileife, you know, because of this uh, New Year festival. Or I don't know if Kabiasi intentionally uh, invited her or she came on her own. But one thing I do know is that whenever they are doing some of these celebrations, they used to come and celebrate with their Yoruba folks and all of that. So they said, this priestess, happens to be a virgin from what we are hearing. And she is highly gifted. And she is not using her gifts to oppress people, unlike someone in the palace. Mm -hmm. She is not threatening people with the Olokum power. <laughs> yes, so, because we all know that Ashley is gifted, highly gifted. Because with some of the things that she is doing in the palace, you, you you can tell that she have she is gifted. I believe that if she's not doing that calabash carrying very well, if she's not representing them well on that area, they won't be calling her. And that is why I said that she is gifted with that. But at some point, she started using it to oppress people. Because I used to think that people who work for the gods, they don't like to indulge in evil things, planning evil against people, you know, oppressing people, working against people, make, having evil arrangements against people and manipulating people negatively. That is what I used to think. But uh, it's like I'm wrong in that aspect because if it is so, I believe that Ashley will not do it to Queen Naomi and go scot-free. Mm -hmm. But... The thing is that I believe that with all of these gifts, when God gives you gifts, it is left for you to choose what to do with it, whether good or bad. But always bear in mind that whichever one you choose have its reward. If you do good, you'll be rewarded in good coins. If you do bad, you will still get your reward, which is karma. <laughs> So, they said when this priestess visited the palace, Kabiesi was pleased to welcome her, you know, while she was discussing with Kabiesi, because one thing about Kabiesi is like, is that he likes people that are intelligent, people that can engage him in a, a meaningful discussion. And they said this priestess is very brilliant. And while she was discussing with Kabiesi, uh, she brought to Kabiesi's notice that there are some of his wives who are, are not happy with his decision 
of bringing his first wife back to the palace. And they have tried a whole lot to ensure that it did not happen. But it happened when they thought it was all over. Yes, because they think that it is over. That uh, because Kabiesi, uh, because they uh, polluted the house where Kwenami is supposed to return to. And Kabiesi is building a new one. And their mission is to go and spoil the new one too. As a matter of fact, they have started doing something on that new site. And Kabiesi took them on our ways by giving that royal manor to Kwenami to return. So that is why they feel so disappointed and humiliated, you know. So this lady in question, the uh, priestess, was telling Kabiesi that Kabiesi, that there are three of them. It's not to say that other ones are not uh, angry. They are angry. But there are three of them who have set out on a journey to make sure that you keep having problem with that woman, with your first wife in that palace until she leaves palace again. That even if it is possible for them, they are going to manipulate her and push her out the same way they did it earlier. But KBS shouldn't allow that to happen. That you should mind how you get closer to these women. Because the reason it looks as if sometimes they are getting to you is because of your relationship with them. Of course, it is expected because Kabiesi and them, they are husband and wife. But it is very important for any man to know that this person did not like me or this person's mission in my life is not a good one. You start to avoid that person, whether that person is your wife or your husband. Because I believe that any wife who is planning on making the husband not to be happy, taking away his happiness, that one is no longer a wife, but a knife. So this priestess is telling Kabiesi that Kabiesi, if you don't want them to achieve their aim, mind the way you relate with them. If possible, stop going to their London, because that is where they will get you to rob whatever they want to rob, and they do anything they want to do. Apart from that area, that they might, it might be very difficult for them to meet you, because to get you because Kwenami will be there backing you up with prayers. But you know that whenever you're having sexual intercourse with a, 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 a anybody, the relationship is always so intimacy that they can easily get you at that point. So this priestess is telling Kabiesi, avoid them, avoid them, avoid them. This is not the first time we are hearing this, but the problem is, is Kabiesi going to uh, do that? Who are these three that have set out on a journey? <laughs> May they never return. Don't forget that these are all alleged information, they are all rumored information. Bye.